Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. And today we are going to journey out to the Mun using this vessel here. I have it named the Apollo 2 Shielded. The difference between this and the Apollo 2, which is the one that I used before, uh, was it didn't have any heat shield. This does have a heat shield, and it had a docking port that was unshielded. This docking port is shielded, so there are a few subtle differences. But anyway, um, enough about the name. This is the actual ship. It has four large engines at the bottom here, and then there's more engines here, and then there's more engines here, and there's this engine over here, and then here's the uh, landing section, and then there's an engine here, and then here's the command section with its uh, heat shield and stuff. So yeah, hopefully we're going to get to the Mun today, and uh, we're also going to get back alive. And uh, without further ado, let's see if we can do this. Okay, so right off the bat, I think I'm going to change the name of this, because I believe that this is, what, the fifth Apollo mission I've sent out? So I'm going to rename Vessel... I'm going to name it the Apollo 5. And okay. Okay, so let's get this thing into space. Okay, so we are on our way to making our final burn to get into orbit, and i uh, finally gotten us pretty much out of the atmosphere, still have like 8,000 meters to go, but just look at that view. I don't know if that's a sunset or sunrise, but that is just captivating. So we still have a decent amount of fuel left in these thrusters to get us into a good orbit. I'm going to actually make that maneuver right now, and there's the space music. Okay, so we have our maneuver set up here. I just set this up. Our... Orbit is going to be roughly a circle. It's about 102 and uh, 108. There, so there's about a 6,000 uh, meter difference between them. But I think that we should be okay. I still have about uh, 56 seconds before I need to do that. But I'm going to speed time up so I don't need to wait that long. I also, I'm going to quick save because if things go terribly, I want to be able to fall back to a safe spot, and it seems that, from our perspective anyway, that was a sunset we were seeing because now the sun has vanished. Okay, 765, that's good, and wait for it, engage. There we go, those engines are so loud. We are going to the moon, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the moon, but whatever. I'm gonna call it a moon because that's exactly what it is. Almost done with this bird. And cut. Let's see how poorly we did. Uh, 84 and one. Yeah, that that's pretty bad. So I'm going to set up a maneuver over here. Let's try to even this circle out. Eh, we're getting there. 133, 132, I can live with that. And let's set that up. How close are we? So we just passed our periapsis. We're halfway to the apoapsis. We're pretty close to our maneuver. Oh, one other thing I can do is I probably should extend my solar panels so I don't run out of energy in any random spots. Extend. There you go. We are very close. Very close. Four, three, two, one. 
burn and stop and just do that. And actually I can reverse a little bit. And we should be close enough. Let's see how we did. So 132 and 132 even better than the orbit I had set up. Okay, now we want to target them. Look at all that stuff around it. We want to target the moon or our moon. So set as target. I'm going to put a maneuver over here. Let's see if we can catch up to this thing. Okay, we're going to decrease our thrust dramatically because we're not going to need all that. And looks like we should just increase a bit. Ooh, that's really close. I like that though. 142, let's get to do about 70 or between 70 and 100. 79, actually, let's go up a little bit more. Just a bit. 86. 142. Actually, I'm going to move this forward. Get us closer. Because I kind of want this fallback sort of order, just in case everything goes sour over there. I'm still in over on Kerbin and I don't slingshot away from it. So, 85. That looks really good. Let's get our maneuver set up. And we still have fuel in these engines, which is good. Still getting a little bit of lag from uh, looking down on Kerbin. But I'm not going to be looking down on Kerbin much longer. Hopefully I'll be looking down at the Mun. And let's freeze these physics using the power of time manipulation. Get us to our final position. And accelerate. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Don't want to overshoot, because that would not be to our advantage. Preparing to burn. Okay, and we are on our way to the Mun, finally. And I know I said that before, but we were just getting into orbit. Now we're actually going to get there. And do stuff. But not before we separate the stage. So let's use these RCS thrusters to help. I'm just going to leave those drifting in space. One thing that is slightly starting to trouble me is the amount of space junk that I get. I know I constantly delete it, but it seems to always come back. And I'm, I know that one day I'm going to hit a piece and it's going to ruin one of my missions. I mean, that seems almost impossible, seeing that this space is so huge. But, I mean, look at all this stuff, especially around the moon, or the mun. All those LEM parts and boosters and whatnot, it's just, it's amazing the amount of stuff floating around near Kerbin. And I don't know what that is, and that troubles me. What is that? That's transport. Okay. I don't think I'm going to hit that. Ten more seconds. And I'm going to cut off the RCS. And then two, one. Okay. Let's see how close we are and if we need to adjust it anymore. Uh, 50. Jeez. Eighty-five. Okay, so that is exactly where we will be once we get there. It will be exactly 85,451 meters. I had to turn off my RCS there. It was goofing it up. And that's the thing. You need to be careful not to leave your RCS thrusters on all the time, especially when you have um, your SAS on, because they will adjust the um, angle of your craft, and even though it looks like it's just tilting, it's actually moving ever so slightly to either side, changing how far away you're going to be from your just your destination, which is why I don't leave them on when I'm trying to, to dock with things because they'll, they'll mess it up. Okay, I'm also going to zoom out here and start setting a new. Ooh, that does that looks quite uh 
squiggly to me. I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't look normal. But that's okay. I'm going to set this away in advance. 81, 87, 84, 90. Can I get this to be a circle? No, no. Well, it's close. I'll adjust it once I get up there. Oh, this is so cool. Every time I do this, this is so cool. I mean, we are going to another body in the solar system. I mean, it is right next to us, but still, it's just, it's so awesome. And uh, sometimes when I land on the moon, I like to look up at Kerbin and just think about how far away I am. And even though it looks as if there's no hope of ever being able to make it back or being rescued if something goes wrong, I know that I can just send up another ship and pick my astronauts up, and I know that I have enough fuel to get back anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem, but it's just, it's so incredible to, to be able to travel between two uh, objects in the solar system, it's just, it's mind-boggling, even though it shouldn't be, I mean, that's what astronauts do, but it's just so cool, I love this game. Okay, what was I doing? I was doing something important, and I don't know what it was. Oh yeah, I was gonna get us over to a Daman. I am going to quick save here again, because once again, if something goes awful, I don't want to have to restart. I'll make sure to slow down before we go past our maneuver. Don't worry. And there's our redirect for our asteroid that we've captured. There it is. There is the Mun and all of its rocky glory. Okay, so next step is adjusting. Stop that, let's get it out of there. Next step is adjusting our orbital maneuver. There's so much stuff whizzing around this thing. Okay, uh, let's get this centered on that periapsis, kind of, more more or less. It's, it's, it's mostly there. Uh, 85, 81, 85, 86, 85, 85. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to save again, now that we're really close to it. Quick saving is one of the most important things that you can do in this game because it takes so long to do stuff. I mean, this this video is usually going to be over 20 minutes. It's just probably going to be over 30 minutes. I, I don't know. It just takes so long to do things that you don't want to mess them up. And once you mess them up, you have to, you have to restart them. And uh, that's why quick saving is important. So you do not have to restart them. We're going to swing around the back side of the mun here for our first moon. And there's the Apollo 5. Let's get to our maneuver without wasting any more time. I just want to look at this moonset. It's like a sunset. But actually, yeah, it is a sunset. I want to look at this sunset behind the moon. I don't know why I called it a moonset. That would be looking at the moon setting behind, like, a horizon. In this case, it's the sun setting. Okay, we are probably really close. Uh, nine minutes. Still some time. Eight, seven, six, five. We're getting there. I want to slow down a little bit. We are getting really close. A little bit of lag when I look down, but that's just fine. Preparing to break. use what's left of these. Actually, I'm not going to use all of them. I'm going to use... I'll wait till this gets down to, to 20, and then I'll uh, stop using the RCS thrusters. Because I have plenty of fuel. Exactly on 20, more or less. Because my uh, SAS still had the RCS hooked into it. So we're still using minute amounts, and we are not perfectly horizontal like we were before, but that's fine as long as we're in an orbit here. Okay. We should actually still be burning. I don't know why I stopped that. Let's 
my brain isn't working, but that's okay. Let's see how bad I screwed this up thanks to my air. 80 or 78. And what is this? 78? I think we will set our next maneuver here to lower our orbit all around to about 78. Uh, that's a little too far. 78 and 78, that will be good. Okay, so we are one, well, now we're one second away from our burn. There we go, and too much. I'm going to, wrong button, reverse this a little bit for three, two, one, zero. And we are pretty much right on target. So our next thing to do is let's look where Kerbin is. Kerbin's over there. Ah, it's, it's dark. I was going to hopefully land on the side facing Kerbin. We could look up at it, but that's okay. We need to land on a bright spot. So I have not landed right here yet. This rover's on the opposite side. Actually... No, let's not do that. Let's let's save again. Let's get kind of close to where we want to go, and then I will transfer Jeb into the landing module. Oh, there's a landing spot that we already visited. Okay, this looks about right. Next thing to do is save again because can never save too many times, and transfer crew. Let's take Jeb, okay, and uh, next we will decouple. When do we have decoupled? And let's see if this will move. Now, I'm not sure, okay, so we are free of this thing. I wasn't sure if this was still attached somehow because it wasn't moving. But we are just fine. Okay, now we are going to I believe it's one of the bracket keys. There we go. And now we are going to set up our landing maneuver. So let's let's just boom, right? Oh, nope. Okay, fine. Let's do nope, one of these. Okay. There we go. And let's get it to pretty much nothing. Let's spin it around. I don't have any RCS thrusters on here, so it's a lot of fun to try to maneuver. And we still have our main engine fuel, so I'm going to be using that. And we aren't colliding with our own ship, which is good. <clears throat> Okay, let's just increase thrust. Don't want to hit our ship because that would be terrible. And we are clear. So, full thrust. How are we doing? Oh, it's shrinking. Now that we have all that weight uh, gone, this engine will be able to do a lot more for us. Well, we're gonna do it, guys. We are going to land. Let's try to get this thing completely proper. Okay, we are pretty much falling straight down. Looks like we're gonna land inside the edge of a crater, but don't forget the surface is uh, still moving, even if uh, we are pretty stationary in orbit, so we probably are not gonna hit this crater at all. So let's make sure we're pointing retrograde. And we do have solar panels on this, so we shouldn't run out of power unless none of them are facing the sun. In that case, that would be a problem. And look at all that debris. And now I can change the name. I'm going to rename this Apollo 5 Lem. And I named all of my MUN vehicles Apollo in all my uh, games that I've done. I've always named them Apollo just because, one, it's a really awesome name, and two, well, the moon missions were the Apollo missions. 
And this is the uh, first time this uh, uh, vehicle that I built is the uh, first vehicle I made that actually does the Apollo missions here. Kind of like the Apollo missions that actually occurred, you know? I mean, uh, this thing goes up and docks with the uh, command module. So I think that's really cool. Okay, we are going straight down. So let's go straight down. Quick save because reasons. Don't want to come in too fast. Okay, and full power. Got to slow down. Okay, let's speed the time again. We're not going to hit that, that crater at all that we saw earlier. We're going to hit this flat area. Let's actually change this to surface so we can uh, be completely moving in the same direction as the surface of the moon or mun. We should start to see some uh, features down there pretty soon. Yep, there we go. There's some rocks. And once I use a little, little bit more fuel, I'm going to get rid of this section. I'm going to save again. I think I'm going to just fast forward it a little bit. Okay, uh, we should be close. Okay, I'm going to just slow down all the way here and then get rid of this section, dump it. Pretty good. And goodbye. And uh, engine start. Gear down. There we go. We can look down at the ground from the inside. Oh, that looks so cool. These craters look like mountains. And it's just, oh, that's such a cool sight. What an alien horizon. We are getting pretty close to the ground now. I'm going to throttle up. Slow us down to about 30 meters per second, I think. That's about 20, but still. Okay, cannot warp any faster, so we are in real time from now on. We are about to do this, guys. We are about to land on the surface of Kerbin's Mun. Oh, that was loud. Okay, that is our lower section exploding. Isn't that a fun, happy sound that is not terrifying in any way? Slow down, please. It's necessary. <clears throat> now, this is the most nerve-wracking part. Slowing down precisely when you need to and not going splat into the ground and breaking off the landing pads and, uh, well, dying. Two, twenty-one. I'm not sure how close we are to the ground because the ground is above the zero level. Because we are not three thousand meters up, that's for sure. We should start seeing a, a shadow soon. Where's the sun? The sun's over there. Shadow should be over here somewhere. No, I lied. It's not here at all. Okay, we're about to do it. There's our shadow. There we are. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. Can we see our shadow at this cockpit view? No. Where is our cockpit even? It's over there. Okay. Six meters per second. We're so close, I can taste that lunar dust. Oh, we're creeping down so slowly. Whoop, whoop. Oh, oh, we're so close. We're gonna do it. This is it. This is it. This is a... Touchdown. We have landed on the surface of the Mun. 
everyone, we have been successful. Look at this. I'm going to quick save before anything else happens. This is fantastic. Jebediah Kerman, you are... Well, this is like the fourth time you've been here, but still, you are one of the only Kerbals to ever be on the Mun. Because I'm pretty sure I've had him land every single Apollo mission in here. Except for one time, I think I sent two other guys. Let's get our ladder down there. We are going to set foot on this ground. EVA. And we could use our lights. I believe that's L on his helmet, but it's not necessary. We are about to set foot on the ground. Jump off. That is one small step for a Kerbal. And... Well, the first time it was a giant leap for Kerbal Kind. This time it's just a, a, another step. So, this is multiple steps for a Kerbal, and it's just as fun as it has been every other time I've done it. Okay, we're just gonna go around here, look around. Wow, look at that, there's stars outside. I'm actually going to hit R, and actually no, before I hit R, let's not do that yet. Let's see, which way does he... I think, okay. I know what to do. I'm smart. Let's walk this way. I'm going to plant the flag of our nation, of our home world, of Kerbal Kind. Plant flag. I think I'm planting it the wrong direction. Yep, that's backwards. Okay. But that's okay. Let's just name this... Apollo 5. Awesome. Awesome ride. Okay, so this is our backwards flag. I'm going to uh, just take a moment to take all this in. Look at that. He's so happy to be here. Oh my gosh. And one of the cool things we can do is this gravity is light enough we can use our jetpack. Yes, that's right. We have a jetpack. We can fly around. And yeah, so, uh, this is the surface of the Mun. If you guys have never seen it before, well, this is about as interesting as it gets, really. There's lots of craters, and there's lots of rocks. But other than that, there's not too many landmarks or any interesting sights to see, that I've found, anyway. But it's just so cool to be on here. So far away. And, oh, 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 don't go down too fast. Don't want to die, because that would, well, that wouldn't be helpful at all. Okay, let's... Pack our things up there. Let's take a surface sample. Ah, basaltic rocks. How interesting. And EV airport. The dust is getting everywhere. Well, I'm sorry that it's getting everywhere, but that's kind of uh, what this whole rock is made out of. Just compacted dust. Anyway, so this video is not only about getting to the mun, it's also about getting back. So let's show you how that part works. So what we're going to want to do is we don't even need to put our ladder up once we get in here. Uh, let's grab our ladder and climb into the craft. And let's board this. Actually, let's get a view of the ground from inside this. Let's hit... Let's wait till he shows up. Okay, let's hit C. And that should be first person. Look at that. Our dials are going crazy. But it's just... Oh, what a great view. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to save again because... Can't ever save too many times. Let's take a look at where our orbiting sh whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Where our orbiting ship is. Uh it is Where have you gone? Right here. So Apollo 5 is over there. I have landed here. So what we're gonna wanna do is uh first we are going to shut down our engine here. So shutting down engine. Check. Uh, set throttle to full, and these should initiate at the same time. I have four monopropellant thrusters here. Here's my monopropellant tanks. And uh, this should disconnect. We'll leave this stage down here, and we will be able to go like this. Okay, so now that we are up in the air, let's take a look at what we're doing here. So it would seem that we are going the right direction ish, kind of, a little bit. And let's stop. Okay, that's 25. 
Let's increase our speed here. There's the ground, just falling away from us. So long, Apollo 5 landing site. Okay, so we are more or less in space. Uh, we are pretty much in line with the thing we're trying to get in line with. I'm going to try to get a little more altitude here. 35. We have plenty of fuel, by the way. Okay, so everything is good so far. Let's, whoa, my gosh. Okay, let's not do that thing. I almost did. And let's actually use this uh, maneuver. Actually, let's not. Let's set a new one right here. And I think that this should be good. Let's make it kind of even. That's kind of even. Okay. So, next step is to align us with where we want to go. And there's Apollo 4 landing just over those uh, hills. And let's quick save. We are going to dock, guys. We are going to do this. We're going to get back home. Two, one, okay. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Yeah, it was kind of off there, but I think that that is just fine. So 36 and 42. You know what? I'm not a perfectionist right now. That's plenty close enough. Okay, now where is our ship? Our ship is right here. Apollo 5. It's right by its debris, though, so it's kind of getting in the way. Let's see if I can... Apollo 5 set as target. Okay. So, our next step in our set of steps is to adjust our inclination. Actually, can I do that even if I'm not there? What is that? That's 0.6. So if I burn uh, anti-normal right now, it should actually start to level out. Let's, let's try this. 6, 9. Wrong way. Okay, let's let's try let's try this way. Sounds good. Six, five, four, three. Stuck at three. We're stuck at three still. Four. Okay, but now we have this thing close enough where we can actually step and maneuver. So ascending. Whoop. Whoop. That is directly in line. And for some reason, this thing is bouncing all over the place. We're going to engage engines right now. And our orbit is in line with our ship's orbit. So next on the list of things that we have to do is um, getting to meet up with it. So let's see if we can do that. Okay, looks like we're getting an intercept right here. Let's take a look at that. Point four. Point nine. Point two. Okay, that looks good to me. Now in 40 minutes, we will do that. But I'm not going to sit here for 40 minutes. I wouldn't do that. I'm going to save again because that would be wise. And then I will accelerate time by 40 minutes. And actually, we might be able to see a sunrise. Here's the sunrise. Look at that. Orbiting the moon, ladies and gentlemen. 10. 7. Slowed down to three times. Well, actually, it's ten times, but whatever. Two, and that. And let's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And there. Okay, we should be perfect. I don't see how we wouldn't be perfect, but 
We should be. So our intercept is at point one. We are going to practically hit the thing. But that is fine because I'm going to quick save. So if we do hit it, oh, there it is right there, actually. Nice. If we do hit it, I'll be able to reset. Hopefully we don't hit it. There's that debris cloud around it. Let's actually see, what what is that? Is that from the uh, ship? Yeah, it looks like that's all Apollo 5 debris. Oh, I'll bet those are the um, points where I had the uh, structural struts between the uh, LEM and the command module. That's probably it. That's what those are. Uh, to target. We're closing on it. We are closing on it. And now I know that five kilometers will work with this because these engines are so fantastic. I remember in the uh, mission I did to Minmus, um, it was so weird. Uh, I actually took off in the limb the wrong way from the uh, command module. And so I ended up um, doing this maneuver here and I actually switched orbits entirely. I was going one direction and these engines were powerful enough to make me go the entire opposite direction around, around Minmus. Uh, so, yeah, they're very, very powerful in, in space with small objects such as this. Okay, I'm going to do one of these. And then I'm going to just aim straight at it, because that's not a bad idea. They accelerate so quickly. Where are we going to hit? We're going to... We're gonna be right here. Okay, let's go retrograde again. It seems that the sun has been stolen, so we're going to run out of power if we don't do something. And there's Kerbin. I can't quite get the Mun and Kerbin in, in the same shot, sadly. Seven, six. Okay, let's slow down. This takes precision, which I don't have much of, but I think that if we just wait a bit, just a couple seconds, it's not going to go too far away. Still a thousand meters away. Okay, so now we have the sun, we can do the rest of our maneuvers, and we will dock with this. Unless everything goes terribly. Which I don't think it will. So, ten meters per second. I can actually see it now. Oh, we're gonna be right up with it. Okay. This is great. There it is. Seven, five, four, three, two, one, and we are stopped. Okay, so our next step in this is to actually switch to our ship over here. Set the Apollo 5 LEM as the target. I'm going to do that in this menu. And, uh, okay. We can... Actually, I'm going to switch again. <laughs> Back to here. Get this thing aligned with the ship. Switch back. That's not the right thing. Okay, and I'm going to open up the shield on my docking port, aim at the ship, and thrust. They're getting extremely close. Ah. Okay, aim at the ship again, and fire the thrusters. Can we target the docking port? Yes, we can. And I can control from the docking port on this thing. So yeah, now uh, I'm going to switch to docking mode. This will be fun. Slow down and figure out which way is up and down, left and right. So that goes, this should go right. So let's, let's, let's flip right, right, left. 
Okay, that, that's that's good for what I needed to do. Forwards. Now it seems we're twisted slightly, so I can't really see that well. And of course, I decided to put this not in the sun, so I have to just use. Have to keep this highlighted so I know where it is. Okay, we are in line now. Let's get this thing over there and thrust forward. We are going to dock. Uh, well, may maybe we aren't. Okay, let's slow. And then wrong way, right way. This is so hard. This thing is so small. But I believe that we have it. Yes. Oh, we're getting close. We are getting so close. Okay, docking in three, two, one and a half, one, not really, didn't judge that right, and docked. We are together once again. And okay, let's transfer our crew here, Jebediah. Uh, let's do one of those. Okay, so let's just make sure we have all of our crew. All three crew. Okay. So, next step is undock, back up, close the shield. Let's go this direction and just leave that ship adrift. Wherever it is. I can't see it. But it's there somewhere. So, Let's just speed up time, and our next step in getting home is, well, it's the actual getting home part. So what we need to do is, I think we have to burn this way. Nope, I lied. This way. There we go. Okay, that's actually not that bad. Let's, let's do that then. Okay, quick saving. I'm going to switch to staging mode, activate the engine, get ourselves in line. And we are going to get to that uh, burn. Okay, so we are at our final burn here, that, which should get us uh, going toward the direction of Kerbin. If it doesn't, well, I don't know what's going to work. Once we get there, we are going to get into an orbit around Kerbin, and then we are going to decelerate and go into the atmosphere and hopefully not burn up and die. We are going to hopefully land either in the water or on the land, and, uh, well, come home. They're going to come home to their families. Nine more seconds. Passing a piece of space junk that was really, really close. Almost hit that. That would have been really bad. Don't know what it is. I'm actually... What is that stuff? It's probably the other limbs. Whoop. Oh, overshot. That's fine. Hell, how bad was it? That's really bad. That, that's, that, that, that's pretty bad, actually. Let's retrograde this. Get this all retrograde. And... Oh, okay. That'll do. We are out of the atmosphere, Kerbin, so we're not going to burn up. And yeah, so let's turn off this thing. Okay. So let's head back. There it is.
Oké, okay. zo. Okay, so we are really close to Kerbin right now. My game just kind of froze. No, it didn't. I lied. So, uh, there's the Mun, pretty much back to where it's supposed to be, really far away. And there's Kerbin, and there's a lot of stuff swirling around Kerbin, as you can see here. It's just, whoa. But anyway, uh, we are going to pass really, really close. I'm going to, well, actually, once I get to that periapsis, I'm going to spin us around. We're going to burn as hard as we can in a breaking thing. And uh, in a braking maneuver, actually. And we are going to try to slow down. And if we run out of fuel, well, I guess we're stuck in space now. Although I could send up another craft to dock with it and save everyone. But I don't want to have to do that. That's too much work. Okay, okay. We are, we overshot things slightly. But that's fine. And now. Burn. Burn everything. Gonna burn the engines as long as I possibly... Actually, I'm not gonna even have to do that as long as I possibly can. We're gonna be able to go into the atmosphere right now, I think. Yeah, I have plenty of fuel. Okay. We are... Nearing where we have to be. What is this? Okay, that's our debris. Hopefully we don't hit anything in space. Please don't hit anything in space. Okay, we are almost home, guys. Almost home. So close to being home. Five, four, and I th if we can get this down to about 40 um, right now, that's all we're going to need. Oh, wait, actually, we're already in a thing here. Let's, actually, let's do full engines again. I'm going to get this down to 40. Though. Oops, a little bit too much. That's okay, though. And then, uh, once we get to the apoapsis, we're gonna burn again. Actually, no, we're not. We're just gonna... This is fine, actually. We are below the orbit of our space station, so, I mean, yeah, we don't need to do anything. Let's, let's get rid of stuff. We're doing this now. Okay. Save. And, uh... There we go. There's our heat shield. That's all we have to do now. Now we just sit and wait. So long part of my ship. I don't know what to call that part. I guess that's part of the command module, but it's it's just um it's just debris. Now. I mean, this is the command module. That, that that's just the solar array, I guess, and the engine part. So I guess that's the engine pod. I I I don't know. I don't know these things. Okay, we're going to enter the atmosphere over probably about here actually. And of course, all the music is gone now because well, that would just be too nice if they left it. Heat shield is doing its thing. It's heating up. We are still very far from our periapsis. Okay. We're getting that plasma effect. Let's just get rid of this now. Heat shield is doing its job. We are so close to a successful mission. We're so close. Okay. Okay, that is the sound of pure terrifying. We just had an explosion up in the sky. Was that our... That was, that was our debris. It's coming in. It's burning up. Everything's on fire. Somehow we're still alive. We aren't even overheating, because you'd usually get a bar here showing if it's overheating. And no, we're, we're just fine. So I'm going to speed up time. That's probably pretty dangerous. Oh, we're coming in really hot. Okay. Uh... We're still... Don't have a guaranteed uh, entry here until this thing is in the atmosphere. Oh, we're slowing down though. That's good. Okay, we are definitely going to land. We are not going to have to circle around again. 
Will they live or will they die? I think they'll live. Still at four times speed. We are going to land somewhere in this water, I think. Maybe, unless we don't. Yeah, we will. Okay. Yep, we're going to land in the water, so that's generally gentler than uh, land. 25,000 meters, still haven't lost our red glow. Heat shield is still doing its thing. <laughs> it's so quiet up here, then it's just pure chaos. Oh my gosh. Let's actually get the view from Jeb over here. Oh, slowing down. We are slowing down. I think this was successful. 14,000 meters up. Nothing but water below us, I think. Can't really see. speed this up and there we go this is really gentle and I'm going to actually wait a bit okay now to pull the shoots all three of them hopefully they don't they don't get ripped off as soon as they, they deploy there it goes oh those g-forces went all the way in, into the red but we didn't die so this has been a successful mission so in this video we took off from kerbal or kerbin space center i think that's what it's called and our apollo 5 we landed on the mun we flew around in our jetpack planted a flag backwards at least the way we're looking at it because i wanted to have it so it would be in the sunlight uh with the sh ship in the background and you'd be able to look at it it would say kerbal but no i went around to plant it down and it turns out i went around and planted it in the wrong direction if i hadn't moved my kerbal i would have planted it in the proper way but no instead it's backwards but that is fine the point is we landed and we took off and we have made it back to kerbin successfully all in the span of well probably a very very long time i don't know how long this video is until i edit it down i apologize guys for how long this video was but these missions in kerbal space program take so long to do you have to do so much stuff and the distances are so huge and so yeah i believe we are successful now i could jettison the heat shield but i really don't want to because i don't want to mess things up now don't want to mess things up now and Ooh, that was violent, but we have landed successfully. There's the water out there, actually, just at the window. And yeah, so, uh, this was us landing on the mun and back. Uh, once again, I apologize for the length of this video, but hey, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave it a like, and if you are not subscribed, please subscribe if you want to see more, and uh, put a comment down below if you want to see more. I'm really interested in how you guys think about this. Uh, so if you guys did not like this video, uh, I apologize for that. Please leave a comment in the comment section and tell me uh, why that is. And hopefully I'll be able to improve uh, my next videos based on your suggestions. And so yeah, we have been successful. We went there and back. So as always, I am Foxtrot Delta, and I'll see you next time.